Hey y'all, this is Amy Lemons from Step Into Second Grade. I am here to show you um, how I use PowerPoint to make station cards. So if you will, open up your PowerPoint and you can do a horizontal or vertical template. It doesn't matter. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is you need to decide a couple of things. Um, how many do you wanna fit on a page? And what are you using this for? So if I am putting things into a baggie, I don't want them to be too big for the baggie. So I typically at least have six uh, rectangles on the page, if not um, more than that. So I'm gonna do one with nine. So I added a three by three table and I'm just gonna stretch these to the corners and then uh, fill my whole page with the table, okay? Now I'm going to make there to be no fill and I want to be able to cut on the line, so I'm going to make my lines three point with a dash, and I'm going to do all of my lines, okay? So now I have my table. I have my station cards that can be easily cut apart. Now I just need to decide what I want on my table. So if I'm going to do something with numbers and uh, clip art, then I'm going to pick a clip art. You want to find a clip art that um, doesn't have a lot going on, because first of all, it will waste your ink, and second of all, you want you want it to be there for an accent, but you want your number to really show up. Krista Walden has a lot of really great um, clip art for making stations, so I'm just gonna choose a star um, to fill in, and I'm gonna make this the fit into my box here, okay? So I'm gonna try and line it up to make it center, just like that, okay? Now, I'm going to copy and paste this so that I have all of my stars on my table. I could change the color of them, and I can do that easily by doing right click, change picture, and I'm gonna just search for puppy star, so they'll come up. I can make every one in this row a different color, so I'm just, using the same um, star, it's just in a different color. Okay, so now I have my three stars. Now here's a nice tip. To make this easy to copy and paste, if you will drag across all of your shapes you wanna copy and paste, I'm gonna do control or Command C, Command V, okay? Or right click, copy, right click, click, paste. So now I can copy that whole line because I've already aligned that, so I don't wanna do more work for myself. And I'm gonna do it one more time. So I could also use these. Copy, paste. And I'm going to move this row down, line it up as best I can. All right, so now I have my pictures. Now what I wanna do is I wanna be able to write on the table. I could insert word art, or if I wanna write on the table, I can do that. So I want to highlight my table, and I wanna bring this to the front. So I'm gonna to bring to the front. The thing you have to make sure is that you on your table, you have no fill or it's going to cover up your picture. So you wanna make sure you have no fill if you're doing this, okay? Now I need to select a font that I can use on my table. So for numbers about this size, a lot of times I'll do uh, KG Letter Go Solid. That's a Kimberly Guess One font. And uh, let's start with 65 and see how that turns out, okay? So I'm going to make sure it's in the center. I'm going to make sure I have it on black font color. I'm gonna turn the bold off by clicking it twice. And I'm going to make sure my alignment, I'm on table layout, center text, and align text in the middle. And if I do that all while my table is highlighted, then I only have to do it once, okay? So now say I wanted to do a three digit number. That is actually just about perfect. If I wanted to see if I could go up a little bit, I could do that. So 72 may work for my font size. You just have to play around with it. So now I can go in and easily put in my three digit numbers. If I notice that they're kind of like this one, it's kind of, um, going towards the corner, what I can do, let me highlight my table, and let me do my um, font spacing tight, and then I can try very tight. 
All right, let's do that, okay? So now it's more in the center. Oh, that's not, that doesn't look good. I'm gonna have to change that spacing back. So it's really just a lot of playing around with this. I'm gonna make my table, highlight it again. I'm gonna go back to tight. I think that'll be better. There we go. And then if I need to move the star, I can, I'm just dragging. There we go. So it's perfectly in the center. You just have to move it around. Most of them look pretty good. Okay, so that's how I can make my center cards. Now, instead of doing this all over again, so say I want to do 18 cards in the pack, I'm going to make sure my slide is highlighted. I'm going to copy and paste it. And now all I have to do is change out the numbers on this one. And I would, if I were actually doing something, I would spend more time making sure I'm not repeating numbers and um, things like that. But for time's sake, I just want to show you how I do it. Okay, now I have all my cards, I have all my numbers. Um, what I like to do is give them a letter or a number that corresponds with the card. So I'll do that by inserting word art and I'm gonna make these letters, okay? So each card's going to have a letter that will correspond with the recording sheet or whatever I'm doing or so that they can put them into a certain order. So I'm gonna use um, the font KG Geronimo. Um, Geronimo blocks for this one and I typically put this into the center or into the corner I'm sorry so I put it into the corner and I'm going to copy and paste it and I'm going to fill up my column copy and paste again and then I'll go back and change these there we go so now I need to make it say B C now to get these to my second row, I'm going to highlight all of those letters. I'm going to copy and paste. Now I can move the whole row over to my middle section of cards. And then I just have to go in and change the letters again. Okay, so I'm copying and pasting again, dragging them over to my third row, continuing with my letters. Now let me show you how I can easily get these onto my next page. I can't uh, drop this whole thing. Actually, what would have been smarter is if I would have done this first and then copy and pasted this slide. So now I can just do, go through and do my letters and they're all, everything is already there. Um, so even sometimes I learned that I could do it easier as I'm doing these. So I can just change out my letters, then change out my numbers and I have all of my number cards and it's as simple as that. A couple of things I like to keep in mind is um, do my, uh, uh, do other teachers want to do this print in color? Some teachers don't have the option to print in color. So let me show you what I would do for that. I'm going to copy and paste this again. Okay. And I'm going to highlight my star. So I'm going to do format picture. And I'm going to do recolor and choose the white star, okay? So this will change all of my stars to black and white for people that want an option to print it on colored paper or who don't have access to colored ink. And I can do that really easily and I could probably do it even easier um, by highlighting all of my stars at a time. There we go and changing all of the color, do recolor, and then they're all changed like that. So in my unit, I might have the colored option, but I'll also have the black and white for those who don't have access to color printer or just wanna save on some ink. So that's that, and that's what I do to make my station cards. I, if I wanna add in coins or clocks, it's the same kind of thing, you just add in the clip art. So I hope you found that useful, and I look forward to finding another tip or trick to show you later on. Bye, guys.